just a very dynamic, contrasty pairing that could work really well for those of you that have a more eclectic taste. Today's episode of Color Code is going to get steamy. Not necessarily due to super hot, mega exciting color choices, but mainly because the color code in question is AF15 and it's called Steam. It's by Benjamin Moore and let's talk all about it. Just as soon as you press that like button for me, that's a pretty good trade off, right? So here at The Paint People, we talk about all things painting and decorating. And lately, we've been on a bit of a color code kick, working through some pretty awesome Benjamin Moore off-white paint colors. This one is particularly special because I feel like it's one that a lot of people should at least be considering in regards to off-white paint colors. It has an LRV or a light reflectance value of 85.91. And if you wanna know how I know this, you simply just need to click on this color on the Benjamin Moore website, and then you'll find that number right under its name. It even has a little information bubble that tells you what light reflectance value means. And if you were curious, long story short, Steam is a very light color. So light that you could classify it easily as an off-white. There are some off-whites that are more off than others, but Steam does a great job at being a bit different from stark white, but still feels soft, clean, and most importantly, modern. Near the end of the video, I'll go over some other popular white paint colors just to compare the lot of them. Steam is a color that you would more likely see used on trim, but it still has enough substance to it to be a suitable wall color in many situations. In fact, the house tour we did a little while back used cloud white all over the walls in the hallway, and you could have easily subbed Steam in for that purpose because their LRVs are actually pretty comparable. Sometimes you just want white walls, am I right? And not all whites are created equal. To me, Steam really feels like the contemporary answer to warm white that I find myself recommending to people more and more. So what about color pairings? This is color code, right? So we gotta pair colors up. Are there clear color options that pair best with a soft, warm white? Well, there's honestly so many options, but I decided to stay a bit more neutral this time because I would assume if you're starting with white, you don't necessarily want to go too crazy with your color saturation. So as usual on color code, I'm gonna give you a light, a medium, and a dark color, as well as a corresponding trim color here. So we're already starting with an extremely light color. So I'm going to go with something that has more depth. Also part of the Affinity Color Collection by Benjamin Moore. And this color is called Fossil AF65. Fossil is a wonderful beige color that sits in a nice little pocket of warm neutrals where it won't feel too greeny or too pinky. It also comes in at a 73 LRV, so lots of contrast between it and steam. You can use these two in conjunction with one being the wall color and the other being the trim color. And honestly, you could really do it either way. It just depends on whether you want more dynamic darker trim or more traditional white trim. Any way you slice it, by utilizing these two colors, you're setting the stage for a pretty neutral canvas type of color scheme. They're not gonna be the star of the show in most cases, but I would argue you wouldn't really want them to be. They will be the background for the other, possibly more dynamic aspects of your home to stand out that much more. For the mid-tone color, I went with something still fairly neutral, but taking things into a very different direction. Another color within the AF color line called Nightingale. This takes things into a noticeably cooler direction with a taupey gray. It's not very cool in and of itself, but when you compare it to steam and especially fossil, it'll give this color a boulder type of color, like a big stone boulder, if that makes sense. It's interesting because when you pair steam and nightingale, it can almost provide you with a very subtle purple hue coming through, but it is very subtle and obviously largely dependent on your lighting conditions. Again, not an insanely bold color choice, but I wanted a mid-tone color that was interesting, but also still relatively neutral, all things considered. And finally, we're ending off our color pairing with a very dynamic deep color with the most dramatic paint color name I've come across in a while. It's called Cheating Heart. I'm serious, what a name. 1617 is the color code, and I wanted to go for something perhaps a bit more modern, maybe a bit Scandi with your classic black and white Ikea furniture. But when you're starting with a color as light as steam, you also don't necessarily need to go black, black, black. Cheating Heart is dark enough with an LRV right under seven, which is not going to be the darkest black out there. Why I chose it is it further contrasts with steam by not having any real warmth 
like a deep chocolate brown would, for example. It has a real absence of warmth, kind of like the cold, lifeless cheating heart it was named after. Just a very dynamic, contrasty pairing that could work really well for those of you that have a more eclectic taste and aren't afraid to play with opposites to the utmost degree. As far as your trim color is concerned, well, this is kind of an easy one because steam is your trim color. It's light enough that I find it's not really worth it to worry about picking another white for your trim if steam is on your walls. If that was the case, you may just be better off continuing steam onto your baseboards with some trim paint. You could also go darker on the trim for something a little more interesting, dare I say, but I would just say play it safe and keep it consistent. Now I mentioned I would talk about some other white paint colors so I can compare them to steam because I know a lot of you are maybe trying to find an appropriate white paint color for your project. So why don't we start with Chantilly Lace. This is an easy difference to spot. I'll just throw them up on the screen for you. In that Chantilly Lace is going to feel much brighter and whiter and stark. And that mainly comes from its much higher LRV. You take one step down in lightness and then you get to Simply White, which is another warm white, but is much more pure and yellow leaning in its warmth, where Steam has a combination of kind of a beigey cream and gray to it. We mentioned Cloud White earlier, which is a step closer to Steam, but again, Cloud White does have a little more apparent yellow warmth to it, although it is one of those more soft, pleasant, warm whites. The popular white that comes closest to Steam, to me, is White Dove. They both rely more on creamy beige rather than yellow warmth, which makes it less prone to a green color shift in those cooler lighting conditions. I think that steam just feels a tad lighter and more airy, dare I say, a bit closer to white in practical use. White Dove is going to be a better alternative if you purposely wanted a touch more visible beige color saturation, while steam ends up being one of my favorite warm whites to use on trim in general when you want something a bit cleaner. If you want to see my favorite white paint color for walls these days, check out this video right over here. It's a good one.